Welcome everyone. And now we are going to see how we can use uh, uh, Copilot Studio to create a custom Copilot uh, to consume uh, SharePoint uh, online content. Let me first of all, and like always, set a bit of a context. So clearly we all love uh, Microsoft Copilot, but what if we want uh, to create a custom Copilot? So we want to work uh, on a specific set of uh, data or documents that we have, for example, in the SharePoint online uh, uh, set collection, because we want to create something like uh, an HR Copilot, a research and development Copilot or stuff like that. And we want to do that with full security in place. So we want to uh, have all of the user being able to see and get access to the content that they can only have access to. We can do that using a SharePoint online set collection and using a, a Copilot Studio. And we can then have a, a kind of a bot experience for our end users through which they will be able to query and search with natural language processing and with the Copilot-like style approach, they will be able to search and find information inside the target SharePoint online set collection. That's what we are going to see how we can do in practice. So let me move to the demo and let me show you first of all how it works and then how we can create uh, such kind of uh, a solution. So here I have uh, a uh, sample HR, uh, Contoso HR website, in which I have uh, a bunch of hypothetical um, HR related documents, like uh, information about a career path uh, or about hiring procedures or unfortunately layoff procedures, uh, uh, information about the incomes of employees in the US and stuff like that. And just uh, for the sake of completeness, funny enough, all these documents have been generated using Microsoft Copilot for the sake of having a fake uh, set of content available in my uh, in my tenant. So now I have this set collection and let me already copy the URL of the set collection because I will use it later. But I also have uh, uh, already created uh, a custom Copilot with Copilot Studio, and then I will show you how to create one from scratch. In this uh, custom Copilot, my HR Copilot, I can easily uh, send requests with a natural language processing approach to my uh, custom Copilot to get answers and information out of the documents that I have in my uh, SharePoint Online Set Collection. So for example, I can say something like, uh, what are the uh, hiring uh, procedures? And I will get back an answer, which will be based on the content of the documents that I have in the SharePoint online set collection, including references to the documents that I have in that set collection. The interesting part of the story is that whenever I will make a request or a prompt to this custom copilot, I will get back answers only from that specific uh, base of information. And I will not get information from anywhere else uh, in the cloud. So it is a specific copilot pilot focused on a specific topic. And of course, I can ask other stuff like, uh, I don't know, how can I improve, uh, oops, improve my career? And stuff like that. And again, by prompting this uh, uh, co custom copilot, I will be able to query the content of my SharePoint online. So how can we do that? Well, first of all, and you see, I got, I've got another uh, answer still based on a reference uh, to some documents that I have in my uh, target environment. Now, let's say that we want to create from scratch this kind of solution. So we can, uh, of course, uh, start having uh, the Copilot Studio. We click on new copilot and we give a name to this copilot, which could be, for example, HR copilot uh, which is already taken uh, demo just for the sake of providing a different name the base language will be english and now i can provide the url of the site that i want to use when relying on generative ai so i can simply paste the url of my site i don't need to specify the https in front of it because it is not needed it will automatically understand that we are talking about a sharepoint online data source because of the .sharepoint.com URL, and then I can click on the Create button. It will create a custom copilot, and again, this animation is really nice and amazing, I would say. And as soon as the uh, custom copilot will be ready, we will simply need to configure the security in order to make it possible for the uh, custom copilot to securely 
access the content on behalf of the currently connected user. So how can we do that? We need to go under settings and we need to go under security. But in order to do that, we will also need to uh, publish our copilot. So let me publish it once. And of course, okay, let me, uh, let me double check that we have everything in place. So let me see if we can do that. Okay, in the meantime, let me go to, oops, let me go to my uh, Azure and let me create an application and we'll come back and configure it. So we need to configure an application in Azure Entra ID. So we register a new application, we provide a name, which could be uh, Contoso, HR app reader, which will be the app we are going to use in order to read the content in our SharePoint online site collection. It will be a multi-tenant application so that eventually we can export the uh, custom copilot definition and reuse it uh, uh, onto additional tenants. We click on register. Then we need to uh, configure for this application a set of specific permissions. Here I have to specify that we want to have the Microsoft Graph delegated permissions, and we will come back on this topic later. And we want to have the open ID and the profile permission, as well as we want to have the size.read.all permission delegated, as well as the files.read.all delegated permission. Once we have done that, we grant the permissions to this app as an admin, and we go to the certificate and secret so that we can configure a client secret for this application. Client secret will be the name or whatever you like, and you can give it a, a duration up to you. Now, let me copy in a, a notepad file, for example, the value of the secret, and let me also copy the client ID, which is available in the overview section of my uh, Entra ID application. Once I've done that, I simply need to go to the authentication uh, panel and I have to configure this application to work with the web uh, platform. And here I will have to provide a URL, which will be the one that I can get from the Copilot Studio. So let me go back here and let me open again this application. And now we can go under security. In security, we can configure that we want under authentication to use a manual configuration. We copy the redirect URL from the Copilot Studio and we provide it in the URL on the Entra ID application. And we enable access tokens and ID tokens. Once we have done that, we simply need to go back to Copilot Studio. We need to choose the flavor of a provider that we want to use, which will be Azure Active Directory v2 should be enter ID, doesn't matter. We specify the client ID and the client secret of the application that we have just registered. So my client ID here and my secret right here. And by doing that and by saving the application and publishing the application again, we will be able to use this new copilot. We will also need to go through an authentication process. So the end user will need to authenticate the very first time uh, they will use our custom copilot. So let me go under publish and let me publish this new copilot built with Copilot Studio. Once it will be published, I will go back to the list and back again to my uh, test interface, and I will be able to show you how the uh, Copilot works. So just a few more seconds. Should be almost done, hopefully. And if not, I will switch to the other one just to save some time because we are running out of time, unfortunately. Okay, it is published. So let me go back to the whole list of Copilot and let me open it again. Now uh, that I have configured the authentication, as you can see, I need to log in in order to use this custom Copilot. So let me click on the login button. And for every single user, this will be the same experience. I will choose the user identity that I want to use. And I will copy this magic code, which I simply need to paste back into the chat with my bot in order to be authenticated. And now I'm able to uh, consume this custom Copilot providing any kind of questions like, I don't know, Tell, uh, oops, tell me about uh, uh, the average, uh, average incomes uh, of employees. 
Oh, come on, Paolo. Okay, here we are. And now you should be able to query my SharePoint online using the uh, delegated access token of my user. So being able to access the content in SharePoint online on behalf of the currently connected user. It takes a while, especially the very first time, but now we are able to consume our data. So quickly back to the uh, presentation, a couple of things that I want to uh, uh, let you uh, aware of. First of all, a recap of the creation steps. I will make uh, this presentation available. So here you can find all of the steps uh, that you need to go through in order to enjoy uh, this uh, experience of being able to create your own uh, custom copilot. But more uh, important, what about security? As I already briefly said, we are using delegated permissions. That means that the resulting permissions for the custom copilot will be the intersection of the permissions between the user and the app, meaning that users will only be able to see and consume data that they are authorized to. Okay, so no data leaks at all. They will only be able to consume the data that they, that they, they can already see in SharePoint Online. Plus the fact that using the custom copilot with an application registered in Entry ID, what will actually happen will be that the custom copilot will be able to consume data that both the user and the app have been authorized to. So eventually you can have a more strict security uh, uh, for the copilot uh, compared to what you have uh, for the current user. So really powerful and really secure. Personally, I love it. That said, here we have a bunch of useful link if you wanna dig into this. We will also have in the upcoming weeks additional demos to dig into how you can use this kind of stuff in SharePoint Online and Teams and many more places. And that said, thank you and back to you, Vesa. Thank you.